Hello friends, Dapper Driver is back here again with another PTCGO match today. We're playing one of the most notable cards um, out of any expansion recently, and that is Zorark GX. Um, Zorark is known for adding consistency to decks that don't have it uh, for his riotous beating um, and for his... Uh, I don't know, just overall goodness. He's a, a great, he's like probably the best card from Shining Legends, and Shining Legends was a great set. So Zorak GX, a fan favorite uh, for sure. Uh, has the ability trade, discard a card, draw two cards. Right, this being just 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. And then Trickster GX, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon's attack and use it as this attack. Just a crazy card. That is what Zorark GX is. So, let's go over the list that is Zorark GX here with Lycanroc. So, this is the Fox and the Hound. So, if you guys like this deck, go ahead and leave down in the comment section below. Hashtag Fox and the Hound. Um, and if you guys understand the movie reference, let me know that you do as well. Because that is an oldie, goodie, sad movie. Ugh. But still good. So we're going to start off with what we have here. We have two Orangaroos. We don't want to get stuck. And I mean, I don't want to get stuck, you know, drawing a card. It being like, uh, I don't know, that exact energy I need. And having to discard it to draw two more cards. Just because I need two, I need more than just that energy. Um, so we're playing Orangaroo so we can have him down on the bench. And keep at least three cards in our hand so that we can either... You know, Ultra Balls or Orc or something like that effect so that we can always not not be questioning like, oh, do I throw this one thing away? We have, we should have options. We should have options when we play Orangaroo. We're playing four Zeruas, um, two and two. The same Zerua, but they're different artworks. Um, let me know which artwork you guys like better. Um, I'm going to say I like the one running better than the one cuddling. But then again, I was a runner when I was a kid, so that's probably why. And then we play three Zorak GXs and one Zorak. Oh, wait, no, we don't play three Zorak GXs. We actually only play two Zorak GXs and then one. Oh, we're actually playing three. All right, so we're playing three Zeruas. Sorry, misinformation. Uh, three Zeruas, one stand-in Zorak with Mind Jack, and one uh, and two trade Zorax, one from the set, and then I got the full art box one, I got two of those, so I can actually play card games. Um, and then we're going with the 2-2 split of the Rock Ruffs, we have two of the tackle rock throwing Rock Ruffs, and two of the corner wild kicking Rock Ruffs, but corner, so good, right? Um, and then we're splitting up our Lycanroc GXs too, we have three Lycanroc GXs, and uh, this one is different, you know. And the reason why is because we're playing a little bit of energy denial on this one. We're playing. We're going to be utilizing crunch. We're going to be utilizing some uh, some energy denying cards. So that's why we're playing this different lichen rocks. So we're playing, you know, three Zoroarks, three lichen rocks, um, and that should be about it. Most of our opponents will not be able to handle that. Okay, on to the items. We're playing two Evo Sodas so that if we get those Rock Ruffs and Zoruas down turn one, we should be able to uh, pull off popping them into a evolution on the next turn. Uh, we got a couple of Field Blowers. I believe it's a couple. It is two. It is two Field Blowers. Two Field Blowers. So we can take off those items that are hindering us, that are going to help our opponent too much and uh, help us get the edge in the game we're playing one rescue stretcher i got to play the secret rare one because it's the prettiest <laughs> straight dumb luck pulling that thing but it's a sweet card uh we got one special charge because we play a lot of special energy two would be nice but not quite necessary for ultra ball pretty standard you know you gotta be able to search for what you're looking for and get it onto the bench uh devoured field does 10 more damage for our zoarchs now I had a strong debate with this, whether or not to play Devoured Field or Brooklet Hill. Um, I like Brooklet Hill because you can bring up your Rock Ruffs and always have the ability to play a Lycanroc and uh, Lysander your opponent. Um, but 
uh, I also see the fact that, you know, a lot of like... Well, really, I play Devoured Fury because I'm scared of a Greninja. Um, Zora can hit 120. Greninjas have 130 HP. Volcanians have 130 HP. Uh, Genesex have 130 HP. So it's like 120 just slightly shy of that mark, so Devoured Field puts it to that 130 mark. And you'll be able to take those one-hit KOs on those single prize attackers that are monsters sometimes. Um, and how many of those do we play? I forgot. Two of them, yeah. We're playing two Ace of Rollers, starting to become pretty standard in most decks. Ace of Rolla just catches your opponent off guard so that you can... Um, Keep, you can keep them from getting a prize. It's really good prize denial. And then you refresh your thing. It's even nice in this deck because you might be able to utilize Zoroark GX's trade ability twice. Um, we got two Bridgets because we don't can't have one prize. Yeah, pretty much. We don't have any Lele's to search for it though. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But we have two Bridgets so that we can uh, try to get Zoroark's and... Uh, we can get a Zerua, a Rangaroo, Rakra first turn if we draw it. We play Goozy, some Guzmas, a couple of Guzmas, so we can um, stall a little bit if we want, or you know, pull exactly the, the thing we want off the bench and attack it to take out for prizes. So I mean, we're definitely gonna be controlling the board state with two Guzmas and two Lycan Rocks. We have Hala, one of these guys, so that we can. Um, I really like this as a draw supporter. It's my favorite draw supporter right now. Uh, yeah, it's my favorite draw supporter. This is one that I like a lot too, but it's not. It's not. I don't like it quite as much as I like this. But this has. If you use your GX attack, you can draw seven cards, not four. And I really like that. If so, I keep trying to find decks that have GX attacks that you kind of do right away. I mean, the first one you everybody thinks of is Sogaleo, but this one. Dangerous Rogue is somewhat, sometimes pretty early in the game, so I figured why not throw a Hala in and see what we get. Uh, wait, do I have two Halas? I do have two Halas. I have two Halas because I like it so much. And then to finish off our supporters, you can't see any of the numbers down here. We have three Mallows because we are primarily picking out things with Zorark. We have three Ends, uh, two Sycamores, a Team Flare Grunt. Two choice bands, two float stones, one strong energy, and four double colors. I think we have more energy actually. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah, one strong, four double colors, and seven fighting energy. Um, the reason I wanted to keep it this way is because I wanted to uh, allow us to put fighting energy on the Zorak if we have to. So I don't see the point. I could totally just do. I could totally do four strong energies, actually. Let's get rid of this, uh... One... Two... Three... So I think the account is going to be four, four, four on this energy. Just so you know. If it's if it's wrong down in the description, it's because I copy-pasted it before I just adjusted it. Uh... But yeah, that's the deck, guys. Um... We're going to go ahead and save it. Fox and the Hound, and I uh, hope it works. Let's take it to the ladder and find out how well Lycanroc Zorak actually is. You know, on a uh, another note, if you're playing this expanded, which some people might be thinking of doing, uh, the go-to replacement is, on that Devoured Field is totally Skyfield. Skyfield makes this deck so much better um and you might be able to add a few more pokemon then as well if you end up doing the skyfield thing you might be able to grab a couple of those leleys a couple of shamans and really spread your bench so that you have the most damage possible really i got four energies and uh and uh no pokemon that is crazy i play a ton of basics like Three, five, four, nine, nine basics in my deck. There we go, there we go. We're gonna start things off with a little rock rough action, it looks like. Throw another one down and another, and a, a little Zerua. Uh, what to do here? Do I discard the Guzma and the Stretcher? To get an Orangaroo? Maybe. That might be a good option. 
Hopefully I draw something other than... Because the one I'm not sure about getting rid of is the Guzma. The rescue stretcher, I know that I drew it too early, so it's just kind of done. It's the only one I have. Alright. My opponent just forfeits. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Apparently, they don't want to play. Um, they're setting up. To, you know, I don't know what's up with that. But let's get another match in. Um, I don't think I can see what they're playing, can I? No. I don't know if they. That's what they did. Doesn't matter, I guess. Doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and start whittling down to this next Shaman prize. They got the advantage. A psychic normal type we're facing. Lord of the D. <laughs> Lord of the G is Lord of Guzzlords, right? <laughs> Do I want to go first? Yeah, I can go first. Uh, Lord of the D96. Lord of the Dragon, maybe? Looks like we're starting things off with a Rockruff. I still think that is the preferred starting method. I'm not definite, though. We start with both of our Bridgets, though. Um, so we'll be setting up Ham on this uh this one right here and we get an ultra ball nice so let's go ahead and uh bridge it first get at that oranguru another zerua and another rock rough yeah that is, seems to be the best option and then we'll save the ultra ball for next turn oh i wanted an energy though there's two cards i can get rid of here yes there is Get rid of those two, and grab... I can actually probably grab another Oranguru. And keep digging, right? Yeah, we'll do that for now. Dang it, that's not what I wanted. I like having that lichen rock there, though. Yeah, I like having access to that lichen rock with the rescue stretcher, so I think I'm going to leave that so that I can access that at a later date. My only other play there to dig was to play rescue stretcher and shuffle it back into the deck though sea of nothingness so hopefully I get a couple of evo sodas in this next match or this next thing um, I was really hoping to get a fighting energy on that rock rough considering I drew four initially So we'll probably finish this one after this match. It might be a little bit shorter of a video, but there's so many Lycan Rock Zoro Arcs videos out there that you guys will have plenty to watch if you guys ever want to see any. Uh, the question is whether or not to Ultra Ball now or not. Oof. Tough du Jean. No, I have to. I have to end because. I have to end because I have to be able to get that lichen rock later. Oh, it worked out for me anyways. I got the, uh... That one, and the, uh, this one. And the question is to Ultra Ball... Or not to Ultra Ball. I think I'm gonna do it this way. Instruct. Ooh, a DCE. DCE. Um, I'm gonna trade. Holla at your boy. And we can get rid of that sea of nothingness if we wanted to. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, though. I think what I want to do is actually go in with this uh, midday lichen rock. Two 
Ultra Balls. Uh, that doesn't really help us. We're gonna wait till next turn to start crunching. So we got the fox on the left, the hound on the right, and the puppy up front. No, not a crushing hammer. Aha, you missed. It's okay though if they do hit something like that, because I can always throw Zorak in with this DC that's in my hand. They got another Lele. Looks like we're playing like Espeon. What are we playing against? Espeon with uh, Energy Denial. That's why we play the Special Charge, the Energy Denial. Probably getting their Bridget gonna pull up their Garbodor probably in their Espeon. Oh no, it's this random like ghastly deck I keep seeing where they confuse you with Espeon and then they creep show you with Gengar. I've seen it a few times, I don't know who must have featured it that everyone's playing it. I've played it like three times this last week, so I don't know who, like I said, I don't know who featured it, but somebody must have featured it before it to be so popular. Um, what's the dealio? I think what I do is like Ultra Ball, Lycan Rock, pull out the Espeon. Yeah, I think so. Let's see if we can instruct what we get. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? That is craziness. 3 DC, 3 DC, that's just dumb. Looks like I'm attacking this thing differently than I wanted to. Tweaking and psychic though. That's fine. Um, we'll stand in here. Retreat into that guy. DC, instruct one more time. Hala. Um, we're gonna go ahead and trade that Hala. Two more cards. A Mallow. I like that. And a Team Flagrant. So we're gonna get the same effect here, which is what we wanted was get rid of that energy. And hit for some damage that's what we wanted that's ultimately what we wanted anyways was we i was like i want to try to work it out we're liking rock attack here but that's that's what i wanted right there anyways was to get rid of some stuff thank you i do not want the dce's in my hand right now okay or you guys can just come right back that's fine that's fine no problem at all no problem got rid of our float I think that was one of two we got rid of both of them now so we don't have the stand and retreat like we did already question is do they have the energy to be able to uh, get the confusion no they do not Actually, it looks like this Lycanroc like, is going to be ready to do some damage soon. What is it saying I can play with Evo Soda? I can't play anything with Evo Soda. question is, what are the two things I need most right now? And that's what I'm going to grab him with. Mallow. Uh, I mean, Devoured Field doesn't hurt. I think having a Guzma next turn is going to be fine. Oh, I'm so tempted to do it like this way right here. But we have a strong energy already, so that's not a big deal. Something I can use this turn. I 
Might end up being choice band. Can I use field blower? I could use field blower. I could just use devoured field. Let's go with that. Nothingness. Does a choice band on Lichen Rock. We still have access to Lat Lichen Rock if we want. And we're just gonna go ahead and write his beating. Let's get that 250 mark and knock out that Espeon by 50 damage more than necessary. Now they're gonna throw out Lele. 140, 160. Yes. So Lichen Rock has this. We can just uh, retreat our Zorark, one of them. Because no matter what, we're losing a DCE because we don't have our floats anymore. Holy crap! What is with you, Lele? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 damage. It's not enough. It's not enough. An enhanced hammer. Oh, good. You're smarter than I thought. I was like, you gotta get rid of that strong if you're hoping to get through stuff. Though. Gengar's a creep show is here. They're gonna try to get some damage with Lele and then creep show for the knockout. Is there a way to one shot this Lele though? It's a lot of energy. 30, 60, 90 is all the other Zorark does. Dangerous Rogue won't do it. Um, I don't know what to do. That. Cause that does 140 damage, which is a lot. Um, not the most though. And I don't want to take, move this Lele back and then move it back in. I'd rather just take it on now. That is a double colorless energy though. Oh quiet you. I think I'm gonna have to retreat here. Moving that into the active. We're gonna wanna uh, trade our sycamore. For that strong energy. So actually that's all I needed. I don't need to end now. Gives them a fresh hand if I do anyways. 100 damage. Crushing hammer. That's fine. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be the strong energy off Lycanroc GX. This Lycanroc is dangerous if left alone, unintended. It really is. I mean, Dangerous Rogue is good, but this Lycanroc can hit numbers if it has the right energy on it. You have to be, you have to do what this person's doing and denying my strong energies, because... Which also like hinders them because they're not doing as much damage. Now this does 30, I got 50, I got plenty of damage on it. Oh that's right, oh that Gengar, nice. So they're gonna try to one shot me here. Uh, in that case, do I trade? Yes, I trade a Sycamore. And then I Acerola up the Trickster. And throw down the uh, the baby Zerua. And as long as they don't end me, I should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and take this Crunch uh, knockout here, though. Doesn't matter. But take two more prizes off the of top of Lily.
That's not the right lichen rock. That's not the lichen rock everybody's talk that everyone talks about. Oh my gosh, another one, huh? It's okay. Ooh, they didn't do that right. Thank you. And this one is weak to dark. So that means this stand in Zorak can do the damage to take it out. Um, yeah, I guess that's the only option here because I'm not going to be... Definitely Issa rolling this turn since they shawned. And, uh... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Ace Arola. Move Zorak up there and uh, DCE. Not get me back. This is no problem at all. We'll put in the, the good looking one here. Go ahead and Ace Arola that active uh, Lycanroc. Move up Zorark. Throw the DC on it. Yeah, yeah, I know. And throw down a... What to throw down here? A uh, rock ref? Yeah, I probably want to throw down a rock ref so I can search for that uh, dangerous rogue in there. Um, what's the play here? Special charge for one of each, I think. And that's about what I can do. I can trade, right? I can trade, okay. So what should I trade? Let's trade a, a rock rough. Get two more cards, field blower. Got 14 left in there. Field blower, I can take out the... Sea of nothingness. Yeah, yeah, quiet. Alright, let's ride this beating. I think the Zoroarks are gonna clean up here. I think the Zoroarks are gonna clean up here. Because most I can see them doing is confusing this one. They don't quite have enough damage to uh, creep show it. Not, nor do they have the energy on the creep show. But they are going to wonder tag. I assume they're going to Guzma. Oh, they don't have anything. That might be a forfeit then. Shauna. I don't like that supporter in this. But it's not affecting me, so I'm fine with that. That's This is where N would be killer against me. Needed that last turn. No, not the hammer, it's so crushing. And this is where... You joking, right? We're just gonna stand in. And mind jack. Mind Jack for more damage than the record of GX. Wow. Wow, that was a long video. That deck. That deck is good. So there you guys go. That was a, a Zora and Lycanroc match. Sorry about the first one, but it is what it is. So I would say those strong energies came in handy. So that's, that's the way Hound, Fox and the Hound is supposed to work. I would say, um, maybe not so much the Lycanroc GX I used, but you guys can totally copy this list and then make it your own. There's so many, uh, Zora Lycanroc decks out there, so you guys have your pick of anything. But I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel to watch this. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.